Okay, welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, welcome back, man. On this sunny Sunday morning, yesterday was pouring down raining. Man, I'm telling you, strong storm came through Monday, man. In my area, man, knocked power out for a lot of people in the southern area. Power and internet wasn't restored. To some people, man, I think it was four days, man, power was down. Trees were down. Um, right now in, this, in the southern part, man, we still have internet outage. Um, you still have roads that cannot be accessed. You need people to cut down trees off of these power lines and stuff like that. So, and I'm still, and I still was hearing, oh, I had to throw food away. I had to, um, I didn't have a backup generator. I didn't have anything. You know, if you own a home, if you own a home, or if you live in a single family home, man, get yourself a generator. Get yourself some type of backup power source, something that you can charge your phone up. You know, people take these expensive trips, buying all this stuff, and then when an emergency arrives, they are just stuck in the mud, spinning wheels. No type of emergency backup plan. You know, times are changing. I'm telling you this right now, man. A lot of people are caught up in time. I guess they waiting on somebody to save them. They're waiting on something, somebody to help them out. Because people are getting desperate, man. There are a lot of snatching and grabbing, man. Snatching. They're going in these uh, supermarkets. They're going into these gas stations. They are snatching and grabbing. Why are we talking about snatching and grabbing? Check this out. And if and if you work at a retail, uh, uh, um, if you do any type of retail, whether it's anything, auto parts, you're selling clothes, anything, food, listen, that stuff is insured. You only get one life, man. Don't be out there trying to be Batman and Superman and try to stop these uh, uh, thieves. Let them take that stuff. Now, this is out of Fox Business. Check this out. We got a Walgreens worker assaulted after intervening in a shoplifting situation. And guess what? Someone was out there filming it again. You know, just looking. Okay, okay, okay. Inside of the car, not calling police or anything. They just filming it. I mean, come on, man. And the lady, she was getting beat. She was getting beat on. I'm going to leave the link where you can check this article out. But um, hold on for one second. Let me, it says, this was in Missouri. It says, police in Missouri are asking the public public's help to identify two suspects after a video emerged purportedly showing one of them striking a Walgreens employee. Now there's a video with this article, man. And I mean, they were just, the girl was just beating her down, man. Let that stuff go. Your life is not worth whatever they trying to steal. Just let them take it. You're not going to get the employee of the month. All you're going to do is get more medical bills. You're going to get workman's comp. And you know what they're going to say? That's not our policy for you to stop shoplifters. We always tell our employees to call 911 and just let them take it. I used to work in the retail sector when I was younger. I know. They take you through those training sessions. They keep doing that company policy. Your job is not to be a security guard. Let the company hire a security guard and let them do that. Don't be trying to play Superman. I didn't watch so many videos of people trying to stop somebody and, 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 and next thing you know, they're hurt. You don't know what that person have on them. They might have a weapon, a knife, a firearm. And next thing you 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 on the ground because they stealing some old 
uh, 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 cheap Chinese goods. It's not worth it. My, in my opinion, it's not worth it. Let them take what they're going to take. Let the company deal with that. I'm telling you, it's a lot of snatching and grabbing. Also, now, this is like a word on the streets. This is like something that's going on in the city and around it. Maybe it can happen to you when you go to these uh, gas stations. We all know that um, human trafficking is real. We know that. You got people that women still go out jogging by themselves, earbuds in their ear. No type of training from what I can see. I'm just going off of me. This is what I'm saying. You going jogging by yourself. And in some cases, man, you got people out there know your schedule because you're going to do it. You're going to do it on that same schedule that you used to. I think I was reading another news article where young lady went jogging and and was reported missing hours later. So you you, you can't do that, man. You <laughs> trust me, you can't do that, man. You got predators out there. You can't do that. These times are changing. The economy is in shambles. People are desperate. There's no more money. PPP money. You're not getting no checks. People are looking around, looking for that. Where can I get that nice Vic at? Who going to be the next Vic that I, got, I can get? Oh, that good one. Man, she's jogging every day. Or well, he does the same routine every single day. You got to switch it up a little bit, man. People, uh, 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 car thefts are on the rise. You know, people are getting desperate. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. People are getting desperate. And he's like, well, how do you know? Because I travel into the inner cities. And I hear things, you know, just like allegedly what's going on with this, this gas station thing. They're talking about when you go fill up at the pump, that in some areas, this is, I don't know if this becoming a trend everywhere, but I'm just telling you what I'm, I'm hearing, that they're leaving these cards inside of the slot and then when you, you go to touch it it's some kind of substance some people say fentanyl but it knocks you out and then you get abducted now men i don't know is it is it based just for women i don't know maybe it's just based to knock you out and then take you somewhere and then rob you and, and take you back to your house i don't know but you got to be mindful when you start pumping the gas and stuff like that. You should have a glove or something on uh, when you're pumping these pumps. Excuse me, when you're fueling up your car or your truck. Don't just be grabbing things, man. You had one instance they would talk about putting like needles and razor blades. You know, people do some nasty stuff just to get a kick out of it. Everything is based on uh, 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 trying to get views. You know, you see a lot of people on the internet pranking people just to get views, popularity. You know, some people are just making a fool out of, out of themselves. Women are becoming, <laughs> you know, exposing their body just to do what? Get views. Do anything for attention. No respect. No morals. Just do anything. I don't get into none of that, man. I don't need that stuff, man. I don't. I'm not going to uh, embarrass anybody or embarrass myself or disrespect anyone 
and just to get some views. Nah, man, I ain't got to do that. You know, people are struggling right now. And the biggest thing is housing. Is housing. Did you check the, 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 the cost for, 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 for what they want for rent? You got young adults trying to get um, their first apartment. Even if you got families that's seeking uh, um, to trying to get their apartment, man, listen. Man, listen, I I don't know about your area, but they want that money. They asking big money for these one bedrooms. Depending on your area, New York, they put twenty five hundred, maybe starting, probably more than that. But man, these prices are out of control, man. And I was reading one article. You got J P Morgan Chase, man. Buying up a lot of property, man. They already have a lot of rental, rentals out there. They're about to be the biggest landlord. So people playing around and, and, and doing all this stupid stuff, you know, and the housing is, is, their housing is in shambles. People just splurging money, going on these trips, like I said before, and come back. And they got an eviction, a pink note on their door because they're not paying their bills. And it's not an opinion. That's a fact from what I'm seeing. You know, people look like they're doing good, but in the inside, they're getting smashed. They're getting hammered with that credit card debt. Because they still trying to keep up. Thinking somebody going to pass a bill to forgive them out of nowhere. And they looking at me. Oh, what's going on? Don't ask me what's going on. I know what's going on. You better know what's going on. Sitting around here. Uh, 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 indulging themselves. With that social media crap. Instead of being productive. I don't have time to do that man. I don't. I, I seriously don't. But I bring the information to you. For what I see and hear. Now you can take it or leave it alone. But I tell you one thing man. A lot of people are losing uh, jobs. Yeah. That's real. A lot of businesses are closing down. That's real. A lot of people are snatching and grabbing. And that's real. And you're getting a lot of people that are being abducted. And that is real. It's time to snap out of it, man. Trust me. This generation of youth that's growing up, man, no fathers, mothers out there seeking to do whatever, leaving the streets to raise these young women, young men, no guidance, and it's just not in the black community. It's all over. Kids disrespecting their mothers, disrespecting their fathers. No respect for elders. And they don't care. They do not care. What they see on that social media, that's their mother and father. You can give them some straight up hardcore. Hey, look, you shouldn't do that. They're not worried about that. They don't want to hear it from you. They're going to turn that. Computer on, that phone on, and that's the mom and dad now. Whatever's going on, on that, the trend. That's what they into. So if you have kids out there, young women, 
young men, you got to talk to them. You got to sit down and say, hey, man, that's not the right thing to do. Maybe you can change some things. Maybe you can work on some things. But you got to have time. Make time to talk to your, your, your kids. Even your nephews. Small children. Man, because I'm telling you, man, everything is changing. Also in the news, man. You have... Um, Let's see. Gas prices. In my area, man, you talking about three, it's four dollars. Let's say four dollars for regular, uh, four twenty-nine for mid-grade, and four fifty-nine for premium. And that's gonna affect. A lot of people, man, they got to commute 40 to 30 minutes out. So my suggestion is, man, if you can work some more hours, man, work some more hours, stick to the plan. Don't digress. If you own a home, get yourself some backup power. Don't get into this. Trend, be sucked into what's going on and all this garbage. I'm telling you, there's a lot of garbage on 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 the internet, Instagram. People making fools of themselves, just doing anything. It's time to buckle up because this economy is in shambles, man. Food prices, man, are, are, are skyrocketing. If you haven't started prepping, I suggest you get into it. And it's not prepping just for the end of, oh, oh the world about to end this big war. No. You prepping, hey, look, man, I lost my job, but I got some backup uh, uh, food and I got some backup funds that'll help me out. That's prepping. You know, power out. Guess what? You got generator. You got enough to sustain you for, shit, excuse my, my language, but for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, possibly a year. That's what I'm talking about. Do what's fit that's going to help you out in for your area, what you see. Don't look at me or, or, or say, okay, I'm going to do the same thing he do. No, you do what you do. According to your area, your surroundings. You live in a flood area that's prone to flooding. Get yourself something that's going to help you out. You see what the Katrina, all the flood and stuff like that. Hey, you better get yourself an inflatable raft or something. That's what I'm talking about. But other than that, man. <sighs> You got to keep on prepping, man. You got to stay focused and do what you have to do to get through these rough times, man. Is it going to get better? Who knows? But it's up to you to stay focused, keep on doing what you're doing, and keep your head up, you know, and keep it on the swivel. And I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.